Hello friends, welcome back to Java Decoding. My name is Sanjay Kumar and today I will talk about how we can create the Hibernate application using the annotation. And in this video also you will learn how we can implement in the JP JPA annotation, how we can use the JP annotation and also uh, you will know how we can stabilize the connection to the database oracle database through the hibernate so let's start so here i have created the um, maven project this is the hibernate annotation this is the structure and this is the pom.xml so firstly you have to add the hibernate core dependency as well as the oracle oracle dependency o ojdbc dependency and now just create the entity class and also before that I have created the hibernate cfg.xml hibernate configuration this file is to stabilize the connection to the database so here is the we have the, I have defined the oracle driver so it will connect the oracle database here is the dialect hibernate dialect we are using for the oracle database this is the url username and password hbm2 ddl.auto update means update the schema right and here we can map the entity class so firstly we need to create the entity class now go to the package create a new class employee class employee click on the finish So this is the entity class so we will use the entity annotation Jax, Java X dot persistent and also I will use the table annotation I will give the name of the table employee details now let's create the private int id private private string name and this is i will use the id annotation for the unique report and i will generate the Getter setter for the entity class. Click on the next or generate. I so I will create the two string. Generate the two string method. So entity class is ready. Now we have to create the test class to test this application test application man method so firstly we have to load the hibernate configuration file for that I will use the standard service registry SSR new standard standard service standard service registry builder dot configure inside the configure we have to pass the hbm file name and after that dot build now I will use create the metadata and new meta metadata source dot get metadata builder 
dot build why I'm creating all those things to get the session factory object session factory session factory m dot here also we have to pass the SSR service registry standard service registry object m dot get session factory builder dot build now using the session factory object we will get the session object so open the session and this method will return the session object also I will open the transaction create the transaction new session dot begin transaction right now I want to store the employee object and create the employee object e dot set id 1 e dot set name Sanjay session dot save method to save the object and now t dot commit transaction session dot close to close the session session factory dot close right also I have print the employee set successfully now let's run this application to test let's run this run a java application it's running We got the result in employee saved successfully. So to cross check whether the this employee object is saved to the database Oracle database or not, I'll check into the Oracle SQL developer. Select the star from employee employee detail. table is created execute this query there is no record for the let's check what is the table name employees table employee test table not the employee employee detail employee details yes we got the so employee object has been saved successfully right so i summarize this video so first did we apply the uh, or uh, ibanet dependency and the oracle dependency now you need to create the hbm ibanet configure configuration xml so here in this type of file we would need to provide the uh, username password or uh, driver class dialect and also you have to map the employee employee entity class 
in here so after that you need to create the entity class this is the annotation jp annotation i have used now you need to create the test application class so here i have used the standard service registry metadata to get the session factory object right here thank you in the next video i will show you how we can delete the object you in the heavenet application from the oracle database and how we can update thanks if you like this video please subscribe